All right, it's time we wrap up my personal favorite Pokemon. We've we've we started this top 25 a while, little while back, but now we have five of my personal favorites left. Yep, five through one, my five all-time favorites. Let's get started. Number five. One of my all-time favorite dragon types. Or should I say my all-time favorite dragon type? Also flying type. Is Salamence. In Gen 3 when it was introduced. As a bag on. You can only, there was only one part of one place you could get it. With a catch rate of 45. And it was pretty rare. But if you were able to get it and evolve it at level 50... You had yourself a damn good Pokemon. That was then. Gen 4 and later, thanks to the physical special split. This already good Pokemon became even deadlier. And the reason why, even though it was a decent special attacker and all of its dragon moves were special in Gen 3. It is a physical attacker with a stat of 135 compared to a special attack of 110. Some of its dragon moves, like Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw, are physical attacks now. And those now do way do more damage than they would have in Gen 3. Utilizing Salamence's very powerful physical attack stat. And if you got a great moveset like Fly or Dragon Claw... If you get some good physical attacks, you could have yourself a deadly Pokemon here. And I think I've said that too much. Anyways, Gen 6 and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We got to see its Mega Evolution for the first time. Which makes it which makes its stats a little more balanced with the 100 stat increase. Especially its physical defense. And a little more of its special defense. Let me tell you. You want a very good dragon type? Salamence is your guy. Number four. My all time favorite steel and psychic type is Metagross. Metagross, I have always enjoyed using this Pokemon. Since the days of Gen 3. And, in, and with a very powerful physical attacker and a very sturdy defender. Although Gen 3, it didn't have so much good moves, even though it did have Meteor Mash. Still does today. But since Gen 4 and beyond, its move pool started becoming more diverse. Knowing moves like Hammer Arm, Zen Headbutt. And many more through TMs. So let me tell you this. The only problem I have with it, which is not a big deal once I catch it, it has a catch rate of 3, like many legendaries. Don't know why they did that. But who knows. Hopefully they can raise it up to 45 in the future like the rest of the pseudos. But anyways, enough of that. Like Salamence, it got access to its Mega Evolution in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And boy, when it Mega Evolves, it becomes one of the most ruthless Pokemon you could ever encounter or ever have. Hey, I used Mega Metagross in through the Hoenn's Pokemon League. And without revives, I almost beat the league. But then I fell short against the champion's own Metagross. Well, that's because I was stupid enough not not to get to earn more money and not get any healing items. I was just stupid. But hey, that just shows to prove how good Metagross and its Mega and its own Mega Evolution is. Number three is my all-time favorite pseudo-legendary. 
Sorry about that. Anyways, my favorite rock and dark type, well, my favorite rock type to be exact, is Tyranitar. Tyranitar! Oh boy, this has been one of my favorites and I've wanted to use it since Gen 2. Even though it was kind of hard to do that back back then. But but now, it's a little easier to do so, to get one. This thing is a physical attacker. And Gen 2 and 3, it did some decent, it was a decent Pokemon to have. With moves like, with some good rock type moves and some good dark type moves. Thanks to the Gen 4 physical special split, it got a whole lot better. Some of its rock type moves stayed physical. Some of its best dark type moves like Crunch became physical. And it was able to fully utilize its physical st attack stat. And add upon its ability Sandstream back in Gen 3. In fact, I've used Tyranitar a lot in my Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. And let me tell ya, you, you could single-handedly defeat three out of four elite mem four members, as well as most of the champion's team, with Tyranitar. In fact, in Gen 6 with its Mega Evolution, you would definitely want to stay out of this Pokemon's way. Coming in at number two, my second all-time favorite Pokemon and my all-time favorite dark type in evolution, Umbreon. Looking at it, it may, it may look not so bulky, but let me tell you, it is a great all-around defensive Pokemon. Let me tell you, looking at the move sets, it does no bite, and... You could be able to teach it, teach it return through TM, which can do some decent damage. It may not be able to do much damage, but it is able to take good hits like a champ. Oh boy, make it even better. Look at its ability, it's synchronized. So if Umbreon gets paralyzed, burned, or poisoned, guess what? It's going to deflect that status problem right back at the Pokemon. Unless you get burned by a fire type or poisoned by a poison type. But who cares? I have used Umbreon quite a bit in the past. And every time, that it served me well. So if you're looking for a great dark type, Umbreon's your guy. To evolve it to, um, from an Eevee. To this Pokemon, you need high friendship, and it has to be at night too. Before I mention what my all-time favorite Pokemon is, I'm gonna list my honorable mentions here. Pokemon that I that are that are some of my all-time favorites, even though they did not make the cut to my top 25. I could still just consider them in my top 50 if I would have done that day I would have included them in my subscriber special so my Pokemon some of the Pokemon I enjoy include Lugia Ho-Oh Pikachu Golduck even Mainetric Blastoise even Dragonite and Gyarados. Those are some very good Pokemon, even though they're not in my top 25. I enjoy those Pokemon so much. And now, let's see what my number one all-time favorite Pokemon is. Alright. Time to tell you guys my all-time favorite Pokemon. All the way back from Gen 2, I've always picked this starter. Well, most of the time, actually. 
That Pokemon is Typhlosion. Oh boy, I have had so much fun having this Pokemon on my team in many of the games I've played involving the Johto region. Whether it's Gold, Silver, Crystal, or it's Remakes, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. One thing's clear. I like this Pokemon so much. Back in Gen 2, it, it, like it's, it's, a, it's a special attacker. In Gen 2 and 3, it had some good fire moves like Flame Wheel and Flamethrower. In the Gen 4 special physical split and beyond, Gen 4 and beyond by the way, Flame Wheel became a physical attack, which, which I consider Typhlosion to be very slightly nerfed. But, to balance it out, it was given access to more special fire attacks, like Lava Plume and Eruption. If you, if you don't want to have an all-fire-type move set, you can always teach it TMs, like, it knows Focus Blast. And, um, and to add upon its deadly good special attack stat, it is a fast Pokemon. So, if you're looking for a great fire type... This is a good one. And that Typhlosion tops my list. Okay, that is it. That is my 25 most favorite Pokemon of all time. Let me tell you, that was a fun journey going through those, getting through the editing. Getting the movesets and the stats and the image of the Pokemon on there. But let me tell you, my journey through my top 25 is complete. So next time I have a, have a subscriber special, it'll be when I have 50 subscribers. Who knows how long that will be? But stick around when I... When I have my 50 subscribers ready, I'll have that special ready. Who knows when it'll be? Anyways, see you guys later.